Hi friends, in the previous videos we have seen about the functional components representation. So how we can create the state and also how we can create the life cycle hooks in the functional components we have seen using the use state and the use effect we have seen right. Now let's jump into the another concepts there are new concepts uh, later on we will going on we will learn about the hooks a little more okay. Now we will be learning about the how to make an ajax call. So how to make an external API calls if you want to make an API call in the react js how we can make this one in the react okay up to now in our channel if you try to see we have completed angular and view js in angular how we are making the api calls if we try to see we are using the http client module so that is the client module which is present inside the angular framework itself and in the view js as it is a library we have already discussed the angular is a framework so that's why it ships with its own ang http client module and view js is a library so view js doesn't have explicitly what we can say the, to make an HTTP API request, it doesn't have an uh, library for that one. So that means previously it used to have view resource something like that in Vue.js 1.0 version or something like that. View resource they used to have. They have removed that one, and they and the Vue.js has told itself to follow to to take another a, any uh, any any API libraries if you want to do you can you can take. They have they have told. So we have used Axios. For making the ajax request in the vue.js in the same scenario react.js is also a library so react.js also doesn't ships inbuilt with the, uh, any other library to make the ajax api calls so if you want to make an api call in react.js also it doesn't ships with anything so you if you want you can use you are free to use any type of library if you want to use to, with the http library uh, uh, to make an http request for example you want if you want to make xml http request means if you are so basically if you want to make an http request in the javascript we will be using the xml http request so xml http object so you will be having xml http object like this right so now we can if you want you can write it like this or otherwise you can use third party library something like axios or these all things or otherwise now there is these days uh, javascript ships us with fetch api you can use this http fetch api also so let's try to see in our react.js uh, documentation so what they are suggesting so if you go into the faq and here if you try to see here you will be able to find the ajax and apis so if you try to click on this one how can i make a ajax call so this is the question so in react.js you can use any ajax library you like the with react so that means we, we can use any ajax library if you have anything noted in your ajax library you can use it some popular ones are axios jquery ajax and browser built-in window.fetch so this is the browser built-in fetch api what i have told you and this one is the axios is the most popular one which is using more uh, more often so in our vue.js project also we have used this axios and we have seen so many concepts in the axios in the vue.js course itself so the same scenario what we will try to do is we will try to use this axio axios here also in the in the in this react.js project also if you try to see jquery ajax all of them knows this one dollar dot ajax you can use but we need to in include the jquery inside the react.js so instead of instead of injecting the jquery uh, jquery for ajax we can use this axios so what is this axios so axios is not limited to react.js you can use in any library so uj's library angular library wherever you want you can use it so Axios is nothing but it is a promised based HTTP client for browser and Node.js. So if you want to implement in Node.js also, you can use this Axios. Okay. So Axios mainly used for the implement for making a promised based HTTP client HTTP calls in the client side. Okay. It supports so many uh, HTTP methods. So it will support almost all the HTTP methods. It will support. So coming on, we will try to see. Uh, we, I will show you more and more uh, regarding this Axios in the how to how we can use in this React JS also. Uh, we have already seen in the Vue JS about this Axios uh, the complete implementation. Again, I will repeat this Axios things how we can implement in the React JS. Okay, so same thing the one and the same thing it will be in the React JS also, but it it it, it is used in the React JS that is used in the Vue JS. Both are one and the same only. Okay, so now how we can install this Axios in the React.js. So it's not it's nothing. So what we can do is here you can remove this one, you can stop this one. Okay. So now what you can do is so we can stop this command and you can write npm install axios. So this one will install the axios library in your React.js project. So let's try let let it install 
axios is now successfully installed in our project if you try to see if you go to the project and if you open this package.json if you try to see here here axios you will be able to see the axios the version of the axios which is installed in our react.js application so now the axios is successfully installed in our react.js application we can use this axios to make the http calls so now what we will try to do is so now in the next video i will try to create a new project to make an http calls using this axios and we will try to set up the firebase api fire so as usual so how what we will be using so we will be using this firebase api and we will do the same uh, same same bold example something like post example we will try to do and we will try to do the crud operations using the axios with the react.js okay so hope you understood so axios things how to make an ajax api calls in the react.js so we will be using the ajax axios library you can feel free to use any library you want if you have in your mind or in your company or using any other third party library you can use it axios or otherwise you can use the browser built in window.fetch api if you want to use jquery ajax also you can use okay so this is about the installing the axios in your in the react.js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you